Welcome to the video. It's another day and another dollar, as they say. Raining again, and we're starting off at this commercial site. So we normally keep an eye on all the hedges. There's a little bit of grass over there to cut, and it's generally weeding in the car park and um, walking around the site and making sure everything's tidy. These are all the hedges we did ages ago. Still looking nice and neat and tidy. So we did them all the way around. So that's the full court, nice and tidy. Had a good leaf blow everywhere, so that looks miles better. Had a little leaf blow over there. Normally we cut that grass, but it doesn't need doing today. I've blown all around the cars and everything. That's looking cool. Wayne's given this a nice hedge cut. Look at that, nice and sharp and tidy. And um, we've just sort of weeded along the little flower beds here. So again, just keeps it nice and tidy. Under control, lavender's all nice and cut. So yeah, happy days, mate. This is the only commercial site I do, but um, I wouldn't mind doing a few more. We are at job number two now, and we are going to be doing some planting, and we're also going to be redefining an edge on a flower bed, just to make it a little bit more of a curve shape. This is what I mean. So last year, the customer got me to kind of do this kind of squiggly shaped flower bed. Today, we're just going to make a nice line across there and take out this bit of turf here and redefine the flower bed. Right guys, that's the flower bed redefined. I've done a nice deep ditch there with a the half moon as well. So um, yeah, exactly what the customer was after. So happy days, good job done.
Wayne has planted this lovely shrub here. He had to dig quite deep and it was all, look, clay. Lovely stuff, mate. Didn't find the safe then. No, I found a key. <laughs> I did find a key. I've put it back under there for now, but... I dug this up. No idea. We didn't see Ask it. no questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love working in the countryside. Look at it, what a backdrop. Nothing but bliss, mate. So job three, I've been cutting some buddlier. That was there, so that's all done. We've just had a bit of a strim around here. Wayne's still strimming there, bless him. And then we've been working in some flower beds over here. So I just got to get rid of this now, get it on the bonfire. There's a wheelbarrow there to unload and get rid of. And say so I'll leave Wayne to finish off in here. But um, as I say, what a place, what a backdrop, mate. My perfect garden is in the countryside. This dude's looking a bit foxy. That wasn't meant to happen. I got my foot caught in the uh, net stepping over it and went down on my ass, mate. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a health hazard, that is. I literally just face planted the floor. That hurt. So I'm going home, calling it a day. I had another grass cut to go and do. I arrived there and the customer said, uh, Pete, the grass is too wet basically just leave it go home have an early day but i look at the forecast at the minute and on my phone it's just saying rain 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 every day it's just like yeah it's a real it's a it's a pain because today's actually quite a nice day have a look at this like the sun's out there's a bit of blue sky up there so even though there's like moisture on the grass like the mower would have coped with it so yeah it's never ideal when you get turned away even though the blue sky and the sun's out and like for me, I think it was a good bit of opportunity to get on it. But listen, it said it was going to be raining every day this week and we've had like three days of dry weather with the odd showers. So I think we've been lucky. You know, I've noticed it's raining really, really heavy at night time and then during the day it's been dry. So I kind of think that's a good thing. It means I can still get out there and work. But if it, listen, if it wants the torrential rain when I'm in bed, happy days. You know, that's almost a gardener's dream, isn't it? You know perfect dry weather during the day so you can get out and work in it and then heavy torrential rain at night it, it ain't gonna soak me when i'm in bed mate i've had a good day i can't complain i've got everything done bar this last job which i could have done but she didn't want me to do it so it's fine not a problem i'll just squeeze it in another day as and when i'm sort of passing through if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed please do it'd be awesome to have you tag along i always say it but like it's a big deal for me um, and with regards to Soltex, that's next week, isn't it? I was sort of 100% going, 100% going. And now it's really 50-50 whether I'm going to be able to make it just because of like work commitments. And I know everyone's different, aren't they? Like it depends where you are and what, what your rotor is like and everything. But at the minute, it's really difficult to see where if I let work go, I can make it back up. I haven't really got any space to make it back up. So I kind of need to be working as much as possible at the minute. You know, you've got Christmas around the corner, you've got your tax bill in January, you know. And you know what it's like, you, you often have money saved and put aside, but then something will go wrong, whether it be a van, tires, or a bit of machinery breaks, or you need a new, yeah, there's always something, isn't there? So I'm, I'm trying to prepare for the worst case scenario that something else might go wrong, and I wanna make sure I've got the funds there to do that and still cover my, my tax and everything else. It is what it is, but anyway, I'm waffling, I'm going off on one, I'm heading home, have a nice evening. You're all amazing people. Keep up the great work you're doing as well. Yeah, I'll see you soon, all right? Take care. Peace out.